Hello and welcome to a tips and tricks videos from my favorite things. In today's tips and tricks video we are going to be taking a closer look at Copic markers and how you can refill them. We have recently started to carry the full line of both the Copic sketch markers as well as the Copic refills at mftstamps.com and one of the most common questions we get asked is how you fill your markers. So I have pulled out a marker that is low on ink and you can see when I showed the brush end of my marker it kind of had a white look to it and that's just letting me know that this marker is getting low on ink and does need to be refilled. Now it also has a chisel tip end, which I just showed there, and that's the end we're going to use to refill the marker. Before we get to the actual refilling, I just wanna quickly go through the different things that I have on hand when I'm doing any type of marker maintenance. You're going to need any markers that need to be refilled along with their coordinating refill bottle, and you know that they coordinate by the caps. It will say on there the letter and the number letting you know what Copic marker color that is. I also have the Copic tweezers and I have alcohol swabs, which I love to use for any type of Copic cleaning. Now you don't wanna put any alcohol solutions into your markers except for the actual Copic ink, but I always keep these alcohol swabs on hand because it helps to clean the barrels of my markers when they get kind of messy from a lot of coloring. And then I always have a lot of paper towels on hand as well. And I just purchased those alcohol swabs at my local department store and they're very inexpensive, so they're a really great tool to have on hand. Now to actually refill the marker, you want to take out the chisel nib on the marker. So I have the Copic tweezers here and this just really helps to kind of grab onto that nib and allow me to pull that straight out of the marker. So you can see I've removed that there and I'm going to lay it onto my paper towel and now I have an opening at the top of the marker. If you don't have the Copic tweezers, then you can remove that nib with a paper towel, but I definitely recommend the tweezers just to make sure you don't do any damage to your Copic tips. Now once I have that open, I have to get my refill bottle ready to go, so I've removed the cap from that as well, and now I'm ready to add ink into the marker. I like to take a paper towel and wrap it around my marker when I'm doing my refilling, just in case I spill over the side and I have ink kind of going down that marker. I try as much as possible not to get it all over my hands while I am doing the marker maintenance. The amount of ink you add back into your marker is completely dependent on how empty your marker is. So if you have a very dry marker and it's pretty empty, then you're going to want to put probably 40 to 50 drops of that ink into that marker barrel. And if you have one that's a little bit less dry, then you can go ahead and add a little bit less than that. Once you've finished filling your marker, you can go ahead and put the chisel tip back into that hole there. So I'm going to grab that with my tweezers once again. I'm just going to put it straight down back into the marker and push down and it's going to go back in with no problem. And I do want to mention that when I am refilling markers, I always have both ends of the marker open. This just helps to kind of pressurize the air and makes it so that you don't end up with any messes with ink kind of pooling on one end or the other. So once I have finished with the filling and I've put my nib back in, I'm good to go now and actually do some cleaning of my marker. So you can see there the tip is pretty messy just from a lot of use. So I like to take these alcohol swabs and just kind of wipe it around the barrel of the marker just to do a little bit of cleanup. And doing this marker cleanup isn't a requirement. It's not going to hurt your marker at all if you have that ink around the barrel. I just find that when I'm already refilling them and have all my supplies out, it's quick and easy just to kind of run that swab around there and clean it up a tiny bit. And then once I've completed that, I also like to run that alcohol swab around the inside of the lid as well. You can definitely see that the chisel end is barely used and the brush end is used a lot because there's a lot more ink in that cap than the other one. So I like to just take that same alcohol wipe and just wipe that along there. And then I like to do a little test to make sure that everything is working okay now that I've had the marker sit for a few minutes and I've let that ink kind of settle inside and everything's good to go so I can recap this and I have a nice full marker ready to do some Copic coloring. Now I also wanted to quickly share my lazy way of refilling markers. This is another way you can add ink to a marker, but it does definitely take a long time. Instead of completely removing that nib, you can kind of just put the refill against the nib and go very slowly and do a couple drops at a time, and it will refill that way too. It's definitely much easier to do it the first way that I showed, but if you are needing to add some ink to the marker very quickly and don't want to go through the process of all of this, then this is a really quick way to add some ink to that marker. Thank you so much for joining us for this tips and tricks video on how to refill your Copic markers and I'll see you in another video soon.